Alright, welcome to the first part of Manjaro Bootcamp. This guy will tell you how to get your Manjaro installed and set up exactly as you should like it. Uh, this guide assumes you are using a Windows PC. The guide for setting this up on a Linux PC or a Mac it has slight variances, although it is still very much doable. The first thing you want to do, of course, as you would expect, is boot up your PC uh, and pop open your web browser. Um, then once you're here, hop over to Manjaro Linux's website, like so. And you'll want to pop over to the download section um, and scroll down to the XFC edition. There are, of course, a KDE and Minimal Net edition, but I would not worry about those. For the absolute new user, I would recommend Jaro XFCE edition. And you can grab yourself the 64 bit or 32 bit version. Now most modern computers will be 64 bit, but if you have an older computer, the 32 bit uh, would be for that. Also if you know what torrenting is, this will be a faster download, but I wouldn't worry about it, just go for the direct download. When you click this, it will open up the download page for it. And you will get a file that looks something like this. It'll be an ISO file. Now you might not know how to do that. It's not a usual install of files. That's a bit bizarre. Well, you have to write that to a USB. Pop open UNET boot in right here. Um, and this utility will be used to write the image you just downloaded to a USB. Pop open your UNET boot in. Of course, we have this already. Open it up. Run and select your disk image ISO and navigate to your disk image location wherever that may be uh, select type USB drive and your drive should be automatically selected whatever you plugged in and then just go ahead and click OK and it will start copying the data of course this happens here because we do not have a USB drive inserted. Once you've done that, go ahead and shut your computer down. Like so. And then you will boot the USB from, um, or you will boot your computer from the USB and we will be back in a second with the USB booting. As you would expect, this process is different for every computer, but for my PC in particular, it's a matter of turning the computer on and pushing the F2 key. Now, for my particular computer, I have to hold down FN and then press F2, but for most PCs, this isn't required, and as you can see, this screen comes up. Might be a little bit confusing, scary, whatever. Just follow along. Usually, if your computer's made in the um, past few years or so, there will be an option that says Secure Boot. Now, you can install Manjaro with Secure Boot enabled, but usually you'll want to make sure it's disabled because Secure Boot just gives me insane amounts of problems. You want to go over to Boot, and it should say something like Windows Partition or, some, or Windows something. Um, Whatever it says, it doesn't really matter, but you want to make sure the EFI USB device or USB device is set to the very top. And then it's a matter of just exiting the BIOS like so, and it will boot from your USB, and you should see this screen. We'll be back in a second with a full booted Manjaro system to show you what to do next. Now, assuming you got managed to get the USB we just created to boot, you should see a screen that looks a little something like this, or possibly you'll see another screen that's just a black background, whatever you see. The best advice I can give is to not touch anything and literally just press enter. Simple as that. 
and it should just start to boot up like so. Hang on, let me just configure something so it gives you a better idea of what's happening. Um, as you can see, you've got all this text on screen. It's nothing to worry about. It's just kind of normal. I'm supposed to do that. And that's a bit weird. Um, sorry about that. I've just got to reconfigure the window thing so you can see what's going on. There you go. And it will just boot up, ignore all this text and that. That's basic. This is basically the equivalent to the Windows boot logo. Nothing's happening. Um, and eventually, this might take a while, depending on if you're booting from a USB or a CD or whatever you're booting from, it will take a bit to do it. Um, and eventually, it will slowly start to load. Now, if you're doing this on actual hardware, it will boot up much faster. I am doing this in a virtual machine. But eventually, it will come to this screen here. Looks pretty nice, don't it? Uh, your fantastic, beautiful Manjaro Linux is just booted up, but you're not quite done yet. The next thing you'll want to do is get yourself over to the install Manjaro Linux. Over here, it should be on the desktop. Also, you might get notifications about updates and installing, but I wouldn't really worry about that. And you'll get this installer here. Go ahead, select your language, whatever it may be. Um, click next. Select your time zone. Click next. All pretty obvious stuff. Select your keyboard layout. Click next. And then you'll get this. This is quite a vital step, so it's important you do this properly. This option here will erase your hard drive and install Manjaro. All your data will be gone if you click this option. This here will um, replace your partitions with Manjaro. It's not worth worrying about here. This option down here you can manually partition more for advanced users, so I would probably ignore that. And up top you have the option here, install alongside. This is basically, you can install Manjaro and whatever else you're running, whether that be Windows XP, 10, 7, 8, 2000 even. Now, for the purposes of this guide, we are going to be installing alongside. But if you want to ditch Windows completely or you want more storage space in Manjaro, click Erase Disk. Because if you install alongside you will lose storage space in Manjaro and Windows. In fact, for the purposes of this guide, we may as well just go raise disk because it might be slightly faster. Um, but obviously, if you want to install alongside, click that. What is your name? Whatever, we'll just put in the usual stuff. Um, now, you'll want to put in all your information here, like so. Um, this here is just your name, what you'll see here, and most importantly, um, this is just the name that you'll see on the login screen. Um, so let's put that in. Now this here, what is the name of this computer? This is what it will be shown as on the network. So if you're running a network and that. It's not really worth worrying about too much. So I'd probably just put your username followed by slash PC. Seems to be a pretty standard name. A password to keep your account safe. Now I'm going to just use password. Not a very safe password, I know. That's fine. Uh, obviously, put something better. Now, these two options here, you can log in automatically, which effectively, when you turn your computer on, it will just take you straight to the desktop instead of needing to log in. Now, I personally like this option, but obviously, if you have like some sensitive data or whatever on your computer, I would not set that. And down here, you have the use the same password for the administrator account. Now, basically, when you do things like install software, so on and so forth in Manjaro or any Linux as a general, it will ask for an administrator password. This is the password to do that. Basically, to keep things simple, I would recommend you check that, but if you don't want to, it's fine, whatever. It doesn't really affect anything, per se. Um, 
Now this here will tell you exactly what will happen after the installation. So as you can see we've got Windows XP Professional here. And it will be replaced with Manjaro and Swap. I would not worry about what Swap is. But as you can see the disk is being replaced by a Manjaro. So just click next. And this is basically your last chance to stop it when you click next. And as you can see it's just installing everything. Get a nice little slideshow as you can see. And I will be back after the installation has finished. Alright, now as you can see, the installation is done. So what you want to do is just go ahead and click restart now down here. And then just click quit. And it will restart the system into your new fantastic Manjaro installation. And there you go, you've just installed your fantastic Manjaro Linux. When you reboot your computer after the installation, literally, and whenever you boot your computer up, literally just select the Manjaro Linux. It's as simple as that. And there you go, now you can enjoy your Manjaro Linux. Please subscribe, I will be making more of these Manjaro Linux bootcamp videos in the future. And thanks for watching.